In this lesson, I'm going to clarify when to use the binomial probability distribution as compared to the Poisson probability distribution, and then show you how to use the Poisson probability distribution as you go about constructing an operating characteristic curve for your sampling plan. Okay, so here we have the formula for the binomial probability distribution, which is pertinent when we're sampling from a steady stream of units or from an infinite number of objects. And here we have the formula for the Poisson probability distribution, which is pertinent when we're sampling per unit of time. If you think about it, these two distributions could have similarities in certain situations. For example, let's say we're sampling from a steady stream of product, and we're doing this every 15 minutes. Which probability distribution do you think would apply? Let's look at the probability distribution curves to determine the answer to this question. Okay, so here we're looking at the typical probability distribution curve for a Poisson probability distribution. And here we're looking at the probability distribution curve for a binomial probability distribution. But what's interesting is that when the sample size is large, as in usually greater than 20, and the percent non-conforming is small, the binomial probability distribution curve begins to look much like the Poisson probability distribution curve. So this tells us that the Poisson probability distribution curve can be used as an approximation of binomial probability distributions as long as the sample size is large and the percent non-conforming is small. Okay, so now let's go back to the five steps to constructing an operating characteristic curve. First, we're going to assume the percent non-conforming. Then we're going to determine the number non-conforming. Then we're going to determine the probability of acceptance. We're going to plot this and then repeat it. So here we have a table that we're going to use as we do this. Step one is we need to determine the percent non-conforming. And then we're going to multiply this by the sample size to get number non-conforming and those values get plotted along the x-axis. Next, we're going to determine the probability of acceptance so that we can plot those values along the y-axis. Okay, so what I want to do now is show you how to determine the probability of acceptance. And we're going to use the Poisson distribution and assume that since our sample size here is large, it's greater than 20, we can use the Poisson probability distribution as an approximation of the binomial probability distribution. Okay, so now here I have the Poisson probability distribution table. And I'm going to be using this column because our C value is 2. Next, what I'm going to do is for each individual number of nonconformities, here we have 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, I'm just going to find where that number lines up in this table. So here we have 0 0.986. And when we plot that, we'll multiply it times 100, so we have 98.6. And we're just going to keep doing this. So here you can see our number non-conforming is 1. And we're going to go down here we have 2, 1 over here. Our probability of acceptance is 92%.